Hey guys, what's going on? Tuo Cruise here, checking in with... The best. We're here with Tunshan, and today we're doing another bike shop tour here in Japan. We've gotten hundreds of requests to come here and film a bike shop tour video for this shop. So this is the Blue Lug bike shop. I believe they have a couple different branches here, but we're here at the main branch. And this shop is famous for having custom bikes. They have a whole bunch of different interesting bikes and parts in here. And they have a lot of custom parts that they make as well. So before we go inside, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the bikes that we have lined up out here. There's so many interesting bikes here and I'm sorry I'm not an expert on all this stuff. So if you see anything interesting that I missed or that I should have mentioned, please write it down in the comments and let us know. Yeah, check out this cargo bike here with this giant rack on the back. So this one's a Surly. We've got the super handlebars here. And yeah, all the bikes here are just super decked out. Everything is custom, pretty much every part. We got a Frank Jones here. I'm not sure if some of these bikes are like staff bikes or if these are like demo bikes. I'm not really sure of the full situation, but we've got a lot of cool bikes out here. A lot of Surleys. We got an Independent here. <laughs> I like that sticker. We kill bike thieves. Definitely agree with that. <laughs> and what's this? We got a Mojo. Nice front basket on there. I got the same light. The Volt 400 Cat Eye. And we've got a lightning bolt here. A lightning bolt crust. Lots of Surleys. Yeah, I think they're a big Surly dealer here. And oh, that's a cool setup. They got the mini U lock here on the front rack. Yeah, lots of cool bikes. Oh, we've also got a little Brompton hidden over here in the corner. So this is sort of a off white kind of Brompton. And I've never seen a Brompton with these handlebars. This is interesting. We've got the drooper handlebars. Hopefully that folds down okay. I imagine it should. So these are all the bikes out here. Very cool. And what else do we got? We got a Nifty Richie here with a nice faded paint job from going from red to white. This is the Swiss cross frame. They've also got this guy here. I wonder if this is their mascot so we can do uh, some photos here. So let's have, I think Twinchon wants to get her photo. Yeah. Very good. So we'll be uploading this on our Instagram later. <laughs> And yeah, there's just lots of cool little things here, not just bikes, but they have like other different pieces here that they use as accessories. So we've got this wagon here with some different plants and there's just a lot of uniqueness, a lot of character in the shop. And yeah, lots of milk crates. <laughs> I used to use milk crates all the time in my university dorm. So it's really nostalgic, like seeing those being used here for different purposes, like how I used to do it. We've got a Hillborn here, Platypus. Yeah, so many brands and stuff I'm not familiar with but what else we got here? And they've also got the tandem bike here. So this one is from Co-Motion Cycles. You don't see many tandem bikes here in Japan because technically they are illegal for you to ride them in most prefectures. They did that because they want to stop people riding like two people on the same bike, which can be really dangerous on the mamacharis. But one day we want to ride the, the tandem bike together. Anyway, let's go and check out the shop. So this is the entrance way here. And there's so much stuff in here. I might have to switch to the wide angle lens to show you guys. Um, but yeah, just going in, you're really overwhelmed with the sheer amount of bike parts and frames and just different accessories all around in here. So I don't even know where to begin, honestly. There's just so many cool things to show you guys. So let's start up here at the top. We've got a bunch of Masi frames hanging up here and <laughs> I like the crest frame and they've also got a bunch of like their own made accessories that I noticed when we were doing our um, pre-tour in here. So a lot of these are like their own branded stuff. So we've got these like safety reflection light things that can hang on your bike or bags. And so these are all made by Blue Lug. So I think they have an online shop. They must do some e-commerce as well. But yeah, a lot of you guys who watch our channel, especially um, over here in Asia from Indonesia, Philippines and stuff, we got a lot of requests from you guys to come here and do a tour of this shop. And yeah, just not just the amount of bikes, but all these accessories and the cool colors they use, just the uniqueness of it all. There's so much cool stuff here. So we got a, I think these are used mainly for bottles. You can store your bottles in there, but you can also store your cameras in here and you can store a, <laughs> a statue in here if you wanted to. 
just lots of cool different things. And I really like these. It's sort of like a wallet. So it's a waterproof mini wallet. You can put your cards in here. You can put your money in here. And it's really lightweight. Like it doesn't weigh anything. And these are pretty cheap. I think these were only about like $9 or so. And we've got our straps for our pants. These are really good for commuting if you commute in your work clothes. And <laughs> they've got just a bunch of random stuff in here. <laughs> so Tung's gonna be looking around finding some interesting stuff. I'm good at spotting the bike stuff. She's good at finding the interesting stuff. Oh wow, these are also Blue Lug branded. So what is this called in Japanese? The Private Jetto. <laughs> so it's, it's called the Private Jet, written there in Katakana in Japanese. Ah, so. Ah, Vietnam de so you mocha moteta. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so that's a bit of a nostalgic toy for Tuenshan. Okay, let's check out some of the other bikes we've got here. We've got some affinity bikes. So these are a pretty popular track bike over here, especially in the fixed gear crit racing scene. We've got a a dedicated team for that here in Japan that we used to live nearby. One of my friends actually runs the team, so they use the Affinity bikes. We've got a US Post Service box. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I don't know how they get half of this stuff. They've got lots of interesting things in here. We got some different bags, and we got some all city frames, American flag. Yeah, they got lots of different um, American items in here as well, which is cool to see. And oh wow, this is nifty. Check out this bird bottle cage. That's really cool. Like the color on it as well. Oh, they got different birds as well. We've got an owl one. Those are really cool. So what else do we got? We got a bunch of different bottle cages here. Bottle cage box. And we've got some different uh, strap bags here. So these are also custom, blue lug and is this a dog? I think it's a dog. Might be a cat, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a cat? Okay, it's a cat, maybe. And yeah, lots of different cool colors, lots of different patterns on here as well. And these are also really lightweight, so lots of cool different accessories that you can find here, just hidden around. And ooh, I like this wall over here, so check this out. We'll head over there in a second. We gotta finish up over in this section first. Oh wow, this is interesting. I'm not even sure like what kind of category this bike is. It looks like a mini velo. They've got an interesting frame bag in there. And they've also got a bunch of unique bottles just lined up all around here. Some really nifty ones. So we got some more here. We of course got the ketchup bottle, the relish bottle. Those are always funny to see. And what is this? I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. A uh, Rulo, maybe. Like the color though. Nice blue color. Got some Shimano 105 on there. Clean frame. And this bike really caught my eye as well when we came in here. This is another all city. Looks like a nice touring setup. So beautiful frame, faded to the dark, down to the bottom. We've got an SLX crank on here, but also I think this is the new GRX group set. Uh, everything is shiny, look at that beautiful cassette. None of my bikes <laughs> have a cassette like that. And these bikes like really fun. Like once we're over settled in Vietnam and Thailand, I really want to get a bike like this, like a, a nice touring bike with some wide tires so we can carry some luggage and do some more bike packing trips or I guess this isn't bike packing if we have the rack, so uh, bike touring trips. It'd be really fun. And yeah, just everything is customized on these. You can see we've got the anodized tops, we've got the anodized like headsets, everything. Really clean, really cool. So moving up here, we've also got a bunch more all city frames here. Like I'm just surrounded. I'm overstimulated with everything around me right now. Like no matter which direction I look, there's interesting things all around. Like no matter which direction you look, there's just, you find something new <laughs> in random. So we got some different saddles here, some different bar tape and what else? Okay. We've got some more interesting bikes over here. Let's check these ones out. This one's a, what is that? Velo orange. 
Yeah, I think that's Velo Orange. It's beautiful. I like those handlebars on there as well. Okay, let's try and make our way forward. Here's the saddle wall. We got a nice camel saddle. We got some tape as well. And making our way forward. Oh, man. <laughs> What's this? We got a dog bone pillow. That's really random. If I had a dog, I would love to get one of these. Yeah, there's just so much stuff in here. And Tung was saying <laughs> she really likes like, how they repurpose some of the things here. So this looks like it used to be a refrigerator. And now they, they turned it into a shelf. So they store all the different saddles here. So yeah, just really useful. Like, really nice how they repurpose all these different items. We've got a panda. There's so many panda designs here because they got the panda at the nearby zoo. And what kind of jerseys do we got here? We got Team Dream. Some more Team Dream. We got some more bottles here. We got a Gatorade bottle, Coca-Cola bottles. What is this, green? Green Coca-Cola? Our cub, cub house. And we've also got a dressing room here. So <laughs> they've got a random Pikachu outfit. What else have we got? Some <laughs> McDonald's apron. Just some really random stuff in here. And what else do we got? We've got some clothes, some bike shirts. Always a big fan of bike shirts. Custom builds and repairs. And we've got some more clothes over here. We've got some more bikes. I'm gonna loop our way back over there. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a <laughs> maze and some of the paths are pretty narrow. We've got some more Blue Lug branded. These are wallets, I guess. Yeah, really lightweight, different colors, different possibilities, camo. It's really cool. Just, yeah, any accessory you can imagine, they pretty much have it here. There's so much stuff. And okay, they've got their own branded shirts and clothes as well. So Blue Lug Bike Shop, very cool. And oh, this one says Bike by Iku, the bike shop in Katakana. That's cool. Yeah, so they're, they're even using the ladder here to like store different materials. So really creative how they make their shelves out of just like everyday, like things that they have around. So we showed you guys these before. These are the, the lightweight wallets, waterproof, very nice. And they've also got some more interesting things. Oh, these are some bungees. We should probably pick up a few of these actually. These are really useful for like traveling. Um, these are also <laughs> really strange. I'm not sure what you put in these, maybe some coins. These are really small. And they have some bigger ones as well. Yeah, these are pretty good. You can fit quite a few coins in here. These ones are really small. So I guess yeah, if you want to keep things lightweight, those are good. And these are pretty funny. Check these out. These are like visors that you can put around your helmet. <laughs> they look really goofy. Um, but yeah, they'd be really nice on a sunny day, I guess. Over here, we got a bunch of different pedals. Lots and lots and lots of pedals. And over here, we got our gloves. We've got our socks. They got a lot of the sock guy socks. Uh, Tung found a pair of socks that she likes. She likes the rainbow poop. <laughs> mm, and we've got a lot more accessories over here. We've got a whole bunch of different locks here. Cable locks, U-locks, everything that you could imagine. I was using these cable locks before, these kryptonites. Lots, yeah, bells, chains. Pretty much, they have everything that you could ever need here. Some lights, and yeah, just step everywhere. Check out these flashy rims up here. Hey man, is it lock? Is it lock? Do you want this lock? Oh my God, that's a massive so lock. Heavy. So heavy. heavy. Yeah, if you get that, I imagine your bike would be pretty secure. <laughs> You'd hope so anyway. Safe. 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 We got some shoes, some pedals over here, and Let's make our way back over here to this other side of the, the bike section. There are quite a few people over here earlier, but maybe it's more open now. And I was pretty excited to see these. These are like winter mitts. You don't really see these much in Japan, um, but in my hometown in Michigan, in the winter, everyone's using these. They're really comfortable to keep your hands nice and toasty in the winter. And okay, let's check out some of the other bikes over here. We got another crest over here. Lots of crest bikes. And yeah, just every bike has its own like unique stem, unique handlebar setup. I think that's why people really like the shop. It's just because there's so many like unique combinations. Their Instagram game is pretty strong. They're always taking photos of their bikes and their builds. 
And this wall also, this wall is really nice. I like the color of it. Just blends really well with all the frames. We got some more crust frames. I guess this is the crust section. And we got a Black Mountain Cycles. Some more All City, some more Surly. I've also become a fan of like front racks on bikes lately just because it's been so convenient for like carrying around luggage and stuff so yeah I think one of our our next future bike once we move we want to get something like this like just a kind of a mix between like a touring bike but also like a cargo bike where we have options to just like easily transport our luggage and stuff it just makes life a lot simpler and just yeah lots of interesting things lined up along the wall here we've got a giant bottle of whiskey we got some different characters. We got the, the cat. Oh, that's a cool all city frame up here. I like that blend with the stripes, the purple, the yellow, the black. And of course, we can't forget the ceiling up here. We've got a bunch more Surly bikes up here. Just, yeah, surrounded in every direction with parts. <laughs> and I like this, they're using the wheel here to hang different items from there. Did Chunchan find anything interesting? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a weird hat. Yeah. So we got a mix of some different countries on here. Yeah. That's nifty. This is the, the hat section, I guess. We got quite a few hats here. Oh, wow, that's, that's, I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of cycling hats, but I do appreciate the designs at least. I just don't find them very comfortable for me. Like. But I like the designs. It's cool to see the different patterns and ideas that they come up with. I get a banana. <laughs> they have a banana too. Yeah. That's funny. Okay, let's continue on over here. So you might think that this is like the entire shop. That's everything. But no, you'd be wrong because there's a whole other section over here. So let's go over here. This is where more of the parts are. So this wouldn't be a custom shop if they didn't have all the different parts that you need for your custom build. So check this out. We've got all the different spacers, all the different colors, the anodized options, the different widths, the thin ones, the thick ones. They got it all. And oh my goodness, check out this. <laughs> Massive clip here. This is insane. We got some Nalgene bottles here. Some different bags. Okay, we got some more straps here. And I think these are the tires. So this is more the accessory side. This part we were in just before is more of the bikes, the main part. But if you want any other accessories or parts for your bike, I think that's what this second half of the building is for. They've also got the, the shop over here. So that's where they work on all the bikes. So lots of different tire options. Of course, we got the Gravel Kings, really popular option. And a wall of tools. Yeah, we're just preparing for our move right now. So if you're new to the channel, my wife and I have lived here in Japan for the last like five plus years. And we had a pretty nice bike room full with all our tools and parts and everything. But we, we had to get rid of everything as we're preparing to move. We're actually heading to Thailand this week in just a few days. So sad to say goodbye, but really glad that we were able to come and film this shop tour video for you guys uh, since we had the opportunity since we're flying out of Tokyo this week. Oh, this is nice. I like this. This is an anodized wrench. Oh, this is also by Affinity. That's really cool, actually. Very nice. And we got a wagon here. You don't see many solid wagons like this in Japan because most people have the folding wagons. So it's nice to see those again. We got some different handlebar options here and some different chain rings. Oh, wow, this one's really cool. We got like a light white camo. And <laughs> we got these dudes. That's pretty funny. Over here, we got some more handlebars, some more stems. So yeah, these are all the, the different parts and everything. We've got some brakes over here. And I think this is the mechanic corner. So they do repairs, they do the builds over here. That's really cool. I used to actually work in a bike shop back in the US as a mechanic. I worked half as a mechanic, half as sales. I, <laughs> I'm not a very good mechanic. I can do the basic stuff like the cleanings and just basic maintenance, but that was a long time ago. I've, my skills have gotten a lot lower since then. So basically, you don't want me working on your bike. These are cool. They got these little statues here. Yeah, I just love it. There's stuff everywhere here. Check this out. They got some more statues up here. Yeah, this guy's just hanging out. They even got like the anodized bolts over here and banana. <laughs> banana packs in case you want a pack of fake bananas and yeah just where do they get half this stuff <laughs> is this really like one of the old chanel designs that's hilarious and oh here we go x strap 
using the X-Men design. And I've actually like really liked all these just random designs they have here. Go camp. <laughs> Track cross. Yeah, I think they must be involved in some special events around here as well. Starlight cross. I always wanted to go to that. This one, um, yeah, it's sponsored, I think, by the Yomushi Pedal cycling team. Really big cyclocross race over here in Tokyo area. Dear Blue Lug, thanks for the order and stay safe. And then we got our last little part section here. And they even got like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here with the pizza. And oh wow, check out this Shimano Dior crank with these crazy chain rings on there. And here's the work area, nice and spacious and plenty of parts lying around for them to work with. And yeah, they've got another like old fridge here that they're using as a shelf. So we were just talking with the staff and they said we could have special access to show you guys the workshop room and also where they make some of the different bags and stuff here. So let's go check it out. Tung's gonna open up the door. So over here on the right side, this is the mechanics room. So we showed you guys this a little bit from over there just before. And they were telling me that these bikes over here are the bikes that are going under repair. So they're doing some different custom modifications on them. So these are all customer bikes that are brought in. They're waiting over here in line for their repairs. So yeah, lots of different variety in here. And they're also telling me that like right now, the majority of their customers are based in Japan. But before the pandemic, when people would still be able to come over here to Japan from abroad, there were a lot of foreign customers that came over here We got a nice mongoose over here as well. So in the center of the mechanic space, we got a double stand here. Two people can work here in the center at the same time. And we've got another work stand over here. So plenty of space for people to work. And ah, one more. <laughs> and we've got one more over here actually. So they can do four bikes simultaneously. And next over here, we've got some more frames over here. So I think these are new custom builds. So I think that's what a lot of their orders are. They get new custom builds from customers and they also do sort of repair custom modifications. So they do both. So this side is the new section and the other side is for all the modifications. So a bunch of different tools here, different parts. We're getting a nice close up look. And I remember when I used to work at the bike shop in Michigan, um, we had two main mechanics there. We had the head mechanic and then a couple other like little part timers like me who would just do some assistance. He'd get really upset if we moved any of his tools in the wrong space. So a little nostalgic thinking about that now. So let's take a look at some of the new frames up here that are about to be built. So if you're <laughs> watching this, maybe these are one of your bikes that you just ordered coming in hopefully to your home pretty soon. And then we got some more crates over here. Just here, lots and lots of parts. And I imagine it's gotta be hard to maintain all the different like stock here, especially with all the, the number of different custom parts that they have around. But yeah, it's like a treasure trove in here. Just different parts and pieces everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, lots of random interesting statues around as well. Okay, we're also gonna check out the other secret room. So I think that's where they make some of the bags here. I think they're like mostly handmade. Okay, we're coming over to the secret room here. So this is the design studio. We've got the, you're the head designer. He is the uh, head designer. Uh, he's yeah, the head we designer. Are, we, are all team. <laughs> we are the head designers. Yeah. We're the team. All the team, yes. Okay. Very cool. And so, yeah, we make assembles here. So everything's made in-house. No, I mean, we use a factory. Mm -hmm. Also. Okay, so uh, you design yeah, we, here. Yeah, we start all here. Yes. Okay. We t we make a uh, you know like a samples, prototypes, and yeah. testing, and uh, you know, back and forth, and okay. And some of them are you know made of here. Yeah. Some of them are factory. Yes. Yeah, I was really impressed with the number of different like bags the and bags, varieties yeah, you had. Yeah, we have uh, like a fair weather, also the blue like original, and then, yes. Yeah, there's so much variety. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, sorry about the kind of mess. But. No, no, <laughs> I didn't give any notice. <laughs> I just came. Thank you for letting me come in here and show this. So everything starts here. Yes, yes. Very cool. Yeah, we've got a lot of requests on our channel to come and show this shop. Oh, really? Yeah, we film bike shop tour videos. 
Okay, in and Japan. Yeah, we live in Nagoya. Okay. Yeah. So you know the Satos and those people. Yes, yes, yes. And we are really good friends. So we got a lot of requests, especially from like Indonesia, Philippines. They're like, go to Blue Lug, <laughs> go to Blue Lug. <laughs> yeah, we have three stores in here. So if you have time, you know, it's better to go to, you know, other store too. Oh, really? Yeah, we have a here and one in Setagaya. Uh-huh. And one in Yoyogi Park. But this is the original. Yeah, this so is the uh, that original, yes. What would you say is your best selling bag or your best selling best product? Best selling bag. Is or best selling thing that you make here, your best selling custom made uh, item. Uh, STEM back. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, you know, kind of for the bicycle, we have this, you know, like the STEM bag. Yes, yes, yes. For the uh, STEM. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot of, you know, like different colors and, you know, mm -hmm. different fabrics and and also we make like this, you know, like, this is our original, thing, you know, like day pack. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That expands pretty yeah, we, big. We sold really, really, <laughs> we sold a lot yeah. of them, yes. Like What's that? That's simple, like simple, like a daily use. And is that like a backpack or is that mount yeah, on the bike is, as well? Yeah, this is backpack. A backpack. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, the fair weather bike bags are, you know, so you know, like a frame bag and this kind of, you know. Yeah. Attached into the frame, the frame bag. This kind of, you know, triangle. You know, the corner bag. Hmm? And we have a pannier bag and yes. And yeah, you guys, lot, you guys have cabin. everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> I really like the small little waterproof wallets as well. Oh, thank those you. are nifty. This one? Yeah, yeah, those oh, are really yeah. cool. Mm, thank you. Yeah, a lot of fabrics and the tools. And yes. Beautiful workshop. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I was also surprised to see like the variety. Like mm. just the variety of colors of the same like item. Uh, There's mm. so many different variations. Mm -hmm. A lot of brands that just make like three or four different color options and you guys have like 10 or 20. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for showing me your secret room. Thank you. Really yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, come in by. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to finish up our tour here. Hope you guys enjoyed our tour here of the Blue Lug Bike Shop. We had an awesome time looking around and Again, I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff. I'm not an expert on custom bikes. So if I missed anything in the video, please let me know in the comments and please educate me <laughs> so I can learn more about this stuff. And thank you guys for suggesting this shop. We had a fun time coming out here. And if you wanna see more bike shop tour videos here in Japan, check out our playlist. We filmed a bunch of different bike shop tour videos. So you can go check those out if you wanna see more. That's it for today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. A special thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon. We really appreciate your support. That's it for today, guys. We'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.